Hi, I'm Sean Smith. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Oceanus Yacht 54 here at the Annapolis Boat Show. Join me for a quick walkthrough and tour of the boat. Right now we're in the Beneteau display at the Annapolis Boat Show, checking out the brand new Oceanus Yacht 54. Really beautiful boat here. The white hull with the gray striping looks great. Up at the bow you have a large bow sprit that has a recessed anchor inside with a stainless steel bob stay. So for code zero, asymmetric spinnaker, really easy to rig. And then there's a split bow pulpit making it easy to get through there. Furling Genoa, you can have an electric Genoa furler as an option on this boat. And then up into the deck, there's a recessed area for a sun pad. This boat has the fiberglass decks. You can also do teak decks, of course. A really cool thing to point out here is where the Genoa sheets uh, sheet to the top of the cabin top. There is an adjustable track and it is inboard for good cheating angle. And then also when you're walking forward, it makes a really clean path walking forward. There's a self-tacking jib track and in-mass furling on this boat. As we move back, you can see one of the twin rudders, really far apart, amazing sailing characteristics with the twin rudder boats. Come back and get a full shot of this really wide transom with the dinghy garage. You can fit a two to three person dinghy fully inflated in here or a larger dinghy partially deflated. On the starboard side is a stainless steel uh, three step uh, staircase with teak steps. And let's pan across the cockpit. This is a really beautiful cockpit design, really similar tables to the Oceanus Yacht 62 where you have split electric tables that come down and can form sunbeds. And as you're walking through the center of this cockpit, you can walk around both helm stations and then forward up to the bow, which is a really unique setup. When you're at each helm, if you're trimming your Genoa or your head sail uh, or main, it's really interesting here. You can sit on either side of this seat or sit right over the top of it and work the winches with a good visibility forward. Both helm stations have custom pedestals you can see with lots of labeled the platforms, uh, the sort of the transom and then both tables up and down. Really nice buttons. And then also large BNG chart plotter on both sides. The port side has the autopilot and a compass. The starboard side is gonna be your primary helm station where your electronic throttle control is located. If you do spec the Genoa, electric Genoa furler, and then also bow and stern thruster controls here at the starboard helm. Right above is the chain counter for electric windlass. You can order this boat with all four electric winches, making it really simple to operate this boat and sail from the cockpit. Coming forward, you have very large companionway beds. You can see that they fold up. You can take these up to the bow or keep them right here. Inside the arch are some LED lights, and this boat also has spreader lights, which is an option from the factory. As we come in, pan across the cockpit here. This boat was ordered with the three cabin, two head layout with the walnut interior wood. The walnut looks really nice with the lighter color floor. In the galley, you have lots of storage inboard here and an optional wine fridge as well as uh, more refrigeration and freezer on top. Aft in the galley is a large standing refrigerator with a freezer on top. There's a large stainless steel sink here with a really nice tap, gimbaled stove and oven. And then forward, you have a nice lounging area here with a nav station that you can sit forward facing, the nice desk, and another optional multifunction BNG display. To starboard is a large C-shaped salon table that is electric. You can bring it up and down. And aft is a TV that pops up out of this compartment by the press of that switch. But quickly, we'll look in and see the AC-DC panel here, which is really nicely hidden away with your Fusion stereo in there. And then I love this little hidden cabinet, which shows the battery breakers. 
really beautifully done. Coming up into the forward cabin, this is the master, the really beautiful centerline berth. Lots of recessed LED lighting, big windows, charging stations on both sides. There's an AC plug, but also DC USB plug, so you can charge your devices straight from the batteries. There's room for a TV to be put in here, and then also touchscreen air conditioning control. The fit and finish here is really, really nice with these, these poles, and then when you open up your hanging locker, an LED light kicks on automatically. Another thing to note are these handles are magnetic, so when you go to push the door shut, it's going to automatically engage. Really nice touch. This is the separate shower stall, which is finished with some really nice teak wood. Really spacious. And then over to the other side is your master head, which is salt or fresh water. You can use either. And this is a really nice storage, like an armoire, you have plenty of shelving and uh, multiple drawers below. Real quick, we'll take a look at really beautiful companionway steps with LED lights and into this starboard aft cabin, which is really spacious. Some big windows for lots of light to come in and opening ports, uh, which also comes into its own private ensuite head, a large sink, and a separate shower. Port side aft cabin, also very spacious, big hanging locker, lots of natural light and ventilation. Underneath the companionway steps, which lifts up really simply, is the Yanmar diesel engine, which you can have optional 110 horsepower shaft drive or Yanmar 80 horsepower sail drive. Thank you for joining me on this quick tour of the brand new Benito Oceanus Yacht 54. Feel free to reach out for more information. I look forward to talking to you soon.